Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I have for you my top 5 tips and tricks how to sleep better. If you like fashion, beauty, style, lifestyle videos, please remember to subscribe to see more and also share and like if you like this video. But without further ado, let's start. So I hope at the end of this video you're gonna have the best night sleep ever because on average of course we spend about eight hours every single night of sleep in our bed and the length of your sleep is as important as quality. So there's about five different stages that we go on through the night and each stage takes about 90 minutes and it's very important that you sleep through all the stages and either wake up after all of those stages were completed or just after completing 90 minutes stage also but like a baby we all need routines that we can just um, practice every single evening before we go to bed and they, therefore they're going to help us to sleep deeper and better so today i'm going to chat to you about five senses that we need to look after and indulge to make sure for the good night sleep so first sense that i'm going to talk to you about today is the sense of touch so our skin is an organ in itself and we need to look after it not only in the mornings but also in the evenings the best we can and take a good care of so apart from taking a warm bath of course and body massage all you could do just give someone else's hug receive the hug or just hug yourself so hugging actually yourself just bring the feeling of comfort being safe and also build a self-confidence so we do need a four hugs for survival eight hugs for the maintenance and 12 hugs for growth so by hugging yourself you can also rub gently your arms and shoulders or if you do have other half of course hugging before you fall asleep or even holding the hands will help a lot to feel more secure and also will balance your body emotionally and it will balance your soul and since we're still talking about a touch it's very important what type of fabric you are going to choose for your nightwear and your bed linen and this brings me to that this video I have created in partnership with amazing luxury brand Lily Silk who creates a fantastic bed linen made of silk and also nightwear accessories and even silk shirts Lily Silk only use the highest grade silk available on the market which is number six letter a and also it's called mulberry silk which has no at all added any synthetic fiber to it so it's pure and beautiful natural silk it's anti-aging it retains the moisture in your skin it won't dry your hair so you won't wake up anymore with the frizzy hair or just kind of a dry patches or creased skin and i promise you once you start sleeping on silk pillowcases like this one you will never ever look back i've been sleeping on a number of pillowcases for many years and this is the best i could have dreamed of to find on the market in very affordable prices so Pillowcases comes in many many different colors and also shapes and sizes So please check a lily silk website and lily silk also offer to um, you guys my viewers 50% off discount code in the description box I'm also wearing today a beautiful the highest grade silk pyjama from La Loras and this pyjama is washable of course and once you wash it it's not going to lose this beautiful and luxury sheen from it it's very also affordable for 6a grade mulberry beautiful pure silk it's from 95 dollars available in many many colors and i just love this beautiful piping finish on it that just gave that more luxury and hotel look and feel so a beautiful, beautiful pyjamas available in many colors. Please check her out, La Laura's website. And also 10% discount code for you guys in the description box. And also free worldwide shipping. So before I mention next sense, I have to introduce you to, if you did not hear about it yet, circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm is influenced by things like light or darkness and send a signal to our brain, cells in our brain to let us know that it's evening time, it's time to slow down metabolism or in the morning, let's say, to start our digestive system and so on. It's responsible for so many different things. So it's very important to keep our circadian rhythm happy. 
and how to do that. Your sight is highly connected to circadian rhythm and what you see, what you watch, what you look at in the evening before you go to bed, it's very important. So please turn off your phone about one hour or hour and a half before the bed or please don't look at it at all and the same comes to a TV. So what you're watching actually in the in the evening, um, your TV channels, TV programs, if it's something distressing, your body does not know the difference that this is not a reality and it might just give you a kind of hit of adrenaline and you might feel more, a little bit energetic or even like a jet lag. When you do look at, looking at your phone, please use a blue filter glasses. And if you can, if you can look at the sunset, please do for about five minutes every evening. It just helps your body so much to recognize that it is an evening time. So about five minutes if you can go outside, it's amazing. Please look at the sunset as much as you can every single evening. And if you're not living in the city, please leave your curtains open to wake up naturally with the sunrise. It makes a huge difference for me to wake up in the summertime and I have no problem to wake up about six or half six and I'm just more energetic as well and I don't have to hit the snow so many times so I highly recommend it to leave your blinds open if you can. Next sense we're gonna indulge and talk about is gonna be sense of smell and aromatherapy is one of the best way to heal your mind, body and spirit. So aromatherapy use essential natural oils and you can use them in a diffuser like I have beside the bed or you can apply essential oils on your wrist, pulse point area, behind the ear, your neck as well where there will be faster absorption. But also you can add a few drops to your body balm or bath and just enjoy this amazing and healing smell of essential oils. So please use lavender or chamomile for a good night sleep. Taste, taste, taste is going to be our next sense. Of course, a food is one of the favorite subjects for everyone, but what you eat and when you eat also is very important for your quality of your sleep. So please do, if you can, stop eating about two hours before you go to bed. But if you do have to eat, make sure you're eating more lean protein, vegetables, and maybe something like an almond butter. Try to avoid a carbohydrates because your body, after eating carbohydrates, has to work for many, many hours and try to digest it. So instead of relaxing and rejuvenate, your stomach is going to be working very, very hard and your sugar level is going up instead of going down as well. So please stop eating if you can two hours before. I personally finish my dinner about six o'clock most of the evening, sometimes eight o'clock, and I am going to bed at 10 o'clock. If I do feel a little bit hungry, a chamomile tea just calms it all nicely and beautifully. And the last sense we're gonna chat about is hearing. And of course, a peaceful and quiet bedroom is absolutely crucial and important. But if you cannot and your mind is racing before you fall asleep, I would highly recommend you to try meditation. It doesn't have to be deep, um, very difficult meditation. Just simply close your eyes and just think about the most amazing and peaceful place that you would like to be, if it is a beach or maybe just a walk on the fields as well. Um, that's all it is. It doesn't have to be completely switch off your mind, but maybe focus your thoughts on something else that is more peaceful and happy, your own happy place. Also, you can listen to hypnotherapy, which I highly recommend. There's many, many different programs online or YouTube as well. You can find them for free, same as for meditation. And if so, if your mind is still racing, please keep a journal beside your bed. So it's called free writing. Whatever comes to your mind, it does not matter. That does not make sense. Just keep writing whatever comes to your mind and to let those thoughts flow and just release them on the paper. And it's very, very healing actually to write them on the paper then type them, for example, on the computer. So have a journal beside your bed and let those thoughts flow freely. And that's all the tips 
and tricks that I have for you today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're gonna sleep from now on those amazing Lily Silk pillowcases and wearing beautiful Laura's pajamas for this amazing good night's sleep. Please follow those tips and tricks best you can, of course, or choose your favorite ones and follow them as a routine every single evening. But for today, thank you so much for watching, for being here, and I will see you in my next video.